Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and welcome back to another video, where in today's video I got some Blackout gameplay for you guys, which is rare to see here on the channel because I don't play Blackout at all, you guys know me, I'm a multiplayer guy, but just recently I've been done with the multiplayer, I've already got all the challenges completed in the multiplayer, I have the 100% calling card, I'm already Master Prestige, there's no points for me to actually play multiplayer anymore, except I could reach level 1000, but to be honest, I've never reached level 1000 in any call Duty game and all you earn throughout all those levels is just prestige icons and those don't really mean anything to me and another thing I would like to say is there are dark ops challenges which I do not have all of them completed so I could go after those but some of them are pretty hard to actually do like get a nuked out and a nuked out is where you have to get 30 kills in free-for-all without dying and keep in mind you have to have 30 kills in free-for-all to win the match without using any score streaks and I don't and I mean like honestly I would love to do that challenge I actually tried it yesterday and it's very difficult to do and I just don't feel like grinding out those specific Dark Ops challenges. I mean, I still don't even have a nuclear medal here in the game, which is ridiculous. And so now that I'm done with multiplayer, I've been playing a lot more zombies and Blackout, especially Blackout because I still got to progress through the tier system and get that new sniper rifle, which is another thing I'd like to mention. Of course, if I do unlock new weapons for multiplayer, I will try them out and just level them up and just see how they are. Um, but yeah, I have no point to play multiplayer. So now I'm playing Blackout, you guys, um, which is is funny because it's kind of late to play Blackout. Everyone is already good at this game. Everybody knows everything about Blackout. I kind of missed the last mass map update uh, from the Blackout map where basically half the map was like flooded or something like that. I did play a little bit but not enough to where I got a good feel of it so I'm not really sure how that layout went but right now we do have a game mode called Ground War which Ground War in this Blackout mode is pretty interesting. So what it is there's two teams of 50 so you're on a team with 49 other players and you're going up against a whole other 50 players who are on one team. So it's pretty crazy. Like when it gets to the end, oh man, there's just like this huge war going on between each other. And I really like how they changed it where the helicopters actually have turrets on them in this game mode. I think that is absolutely awesome. Maybe they did it in duos and squads as well. But from what I've noticed anyway, in Ground War specifically, they did make it where there's turrets on the side of the helicopters that you can use to shoot enemy players, which I just can't believe they didn't add that until now. Maybe it's been the game. I don't know. It's been a while, you guys. I haven't played Blackout in a long time. But each kill is actually only 50 merits, whereas in like solo and duos and quads, if I'm not mistaken, in those modes, a kill does equal 100 merits, but it's actually only 50 merits for each kill in Ground War, which makes sense because there are many opportunities for you to actually get lots of kills in this game mode. So they kind of want to balance it out to where you don't earn as many merits uh, per kill. Um, and of course, per kill, I do mean per kill, like even if you down an enemy, they are not dead, you have to actually finish them off as well. And that's something I keep forgetting about in Ground War is that everybody can revive each other, even people who aren't in your squad can also revive you. So when you knock down an enemy, just make sure you like BM them right away because you're gonna want them those merits to level up your blackout level. Uh, but yeah, this game mode is crazy. I've had a game last night, it was so close. It literally there was four enemy players left, and my team ended up losing. The last person on my team just happened to be a squad member of mine who had no idea what he was doing, he was a complete new no idea what he was doing, but it was such a close ground war match. I've never seen such an intense game of ground war before, uh, but this mode is hella fun, you guys. I highly recommend trying it out. Um, the one thing I do say about this mode that I don't really like is that you can't explore the entire blackout map. Like When you first start the match, there's two different sets of helicopters that are going to be flying by each other. Each set of those helicopters ha are from each of the teams, right? And this is something that we've seen in Fortnite, right? Teams of 50. It's basically the same thing. But the thing I don't like is that you can't explore the entire blackout map. Most of the blackout map is already covered by the collapse and there's already like a fraction of the map is circled that you can only explore, which I think kind of sucks in a way, but it's, it is what it is. Also, this game mode does have redeploy available. So if you die, you're not done yet. You actually could redeploy if you wanted to. So here's the cool thing. If you die, there's three different opportunities for you to redeploy during the match. Now, here's the interesting part, though. You can only redeploy if your squad members are still alive. If all your squad is dead, you cannot redeploy at all, which kind of sucks because your team's still alive, obviously, but since your whole squad is dead, then you can't redeploy, which I think makes a lot of sense because that way in like the final like redeploy session, you're not having everybody redeploy 
at the same time where like of course everyone redeploying doesn't have any gear or anything um so the people who are on the ground with the good gear they can just totally melt the people who just drop down and just demolish them really easily um uh, but overall this mode is very fun i haven't played it with friends yet i've only been playing it randomly just by myself and i just like have random people on my squad and stuff like that but it's a very fun mode i highly recommend trying it out also alcatraz portals has came back onto the xbox and pc today which is also really nice so i might go ahead and try that out but of course right now we do have the coolers in blackout which contain 30 paint cans that are used to unlock camos for your weapons so a lot of people and i mean a lot of people are trying to just basically just search these coolers and get as many paint cans as possible because they spawn more frequently than the pot of gold did i believe from the saint patrick's day event or something like that uh so yeah i've been trying to do that especially on solo i'm just going after those paint cans i haven't been very successful to be honest with you i mean i have found quite a few i i pretty much have a map in front of me when i play blackout that shows me all the locations of where they're at and so yeah the only problem is everybody else is doing the same thing as me so i have to beat everybody else to the punch and make sure i get those paint cans before they do uh, but overall blackout is really fun you guys it and i've said this before in the past and i'll say it again blackout is probably the best mode that we see here on black ops 4 and for good reason to be honest this is the most supported mode out of zombies and multiplayer and it's because right now everybody's into battle royale games right so fortnite is what made battle royale big and so all these other games including here in black ops 4 we see other battle royale genres and other video games battlefield even has a battlefield actually looks really cool i don't hear about battlefield 5 anymore which uh, kind of sucks but you know, I heard their Battle Royale uh, was actually pretty good, and Blackout is also really fun, and so I'm trying to get into Blackout a lot more. I still have a couple character missions to unlock, actually. I don't have all of them just quite yet, um, but since I did get 100% in the multiplayer, and I did get the hour, I'm trying to get to the 100%er in Zombies, uh, does that mean I'm going to get the 100%er in Blackout, to be honest? No, because the, requires, the requirements for getting 100% in Blackout kind of suck to be honest with you like i have to get like, i think 50 wins in each mode that's duos solos and quads and i don't think i'm going to be able to get 50 wins in all those modes maybe in squads but solo maybe duos probably not i never play duos not even in fortnite i never play duos at all and so i i just i'm not going to get 100 percent during blackout if i did that would be actually really awesome but no for now on i'm just going to have fun and just deal with blackout and try and learn more about it even though it's been a little bit too late for that but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please please be sure to leave a rating for any of you guys feel this video deserves and of course subscribe to my channel for call of duty videos in the future and i shall catch you guys later 